listening to Anthony, Anthony on the virus. Serious XM. White politicians always have to be seen with black children. Because I just want to know what what is that deal? It's called getting votes from who? Black people. But, but, but why is that lady there's more fucking white people? Why is she wearing a fucking bathrobe? I've been asking television. that question, Anthony, for a long time, and I'm deemed as racist for asking it. I don't know. I'm, I'm deemed as racist. Well, I don't deem you as racist, racist for asking it. <laughs> it's probably the terminology you use. <laughs> what are you, you talking about? It like Anthony. It's just every time you saw like Hillary Clinton reading a book, she's sitting there reading a book, and they show the the kids all black children. Yes. They never go to the white school and you know visit the little white kids and read to them. Oh, no. she's very sincere when she spoke to black people. I don't need a long ways tired. Oh, oh God. remember she that? Did that? She tried to do that voice, speech. that accent. Oh, shit. I ain't been a long. Long ways tired. Can you Shut imagine? Up. Like Alfalfa don't, doing don't, a fucking play. Don't black kids deserve to be talked to? Yeah. yeah. Like that, it, every time. Yeah. This this is by their parole officers. <laughs> oh, shit. Who that, Jimmy? Don't say shit like. Come on. That was Bob Kelly you just called in with that comment. Yeah, of course. Did you get in trouble? I'm noticing that you're. you're this Am I not on serious no, in Anthony show? What's no, going on? We're treating this wait, like it's fucking no, AM seventy no, seven. Wait a second. He, no, every time he'll say something, he goes. Oh, well, oh I backpedal a little bit. You mean? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Did you get in some kind of trouble? Not really. I mean, <laughs> Trump got, he got in trouble. It, Someone's don't... calling you, Patrice. Oh, <laughs> shut that off, I'm will you? I'm trying to shut it off now, dude. I'm sorry. It's good. I like this. No. This, is, this is what it sounds like at the Red Lobster on a Thursday night. <laughs> Goddamn phones going off. Yeah. The parking lot looks like an Escalade dealership. Was that, was that you who said that, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> Did you that say was that? Nick DiPaolo, that was yeah. Nick DiPaolo? <laughs> Here's another one. By the way, I'm a big opponent of that shitty place. Yeah. We went there uh, for... Like, <laughs> okay, let's, let's go to fucking... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's go to Red Lobster and fucking uh, have something. It's the it's a sh anybody happy about going to Les You're Red right. Lobster no. is a Terrible. fucking asshole. I went for a the first time on Terrible. the road. I, yeah. I got a lobster tail. It was the size of my thumb. I, I, go, I go, it says Red Lobster size. It should be Red Scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a half ounce. Look at this fucking tiniest thing I ever yeah. seen. There's if a Red Lobster on 42nd. Uh, Neil, my my girl works over by there, and fucking that Red Lobster is is a line Packed, around right? the corner. People are just <laughs> every stupid. mediocrity like, sells. Oh, it really does. Subway yeah. sandwich shops. Yeah, Have you ever yeah. had a real submarine sandwich from an <laughs> actual hero uh, sub like, shop? They don't weigh their this... meat yeah. at a real They're subway. Wait, sliced their... and shit. They weigh it. It's like cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, two and a half ounces. You're listening to Anthony. Why yeah. the fuck won't corporate people decide to do good things? I agree. Why? That's race. Why can't a corporate really guy does. goes put more? Like you know, a corporate company that's doing like this weird thing where they're trying to do they're better. Giant. Dominoes. It's Dominoes. Yeah, they're they're like, Show us your picture. Oh shit! The cheese <laughs> is stuck to the <laughs> top. This is bullshit. I fixed this motherfucking but, cheese. Uh, what Mexican brought you this? <laughs> I sent them a picture, though. I, I took a, you know, I got a pizza, and I, I took, a, I let my dog poop in the middle of it. I, I opened the box. <laughs> Look at this. Exactly. Then they show a German and Japanese customer enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered the scat and pineapple. <laughs> but that's what yeah. I watch um, Undercover Boss. The boss goes out and see yeah. and see what the fuck they're doing at the company. They got some shitty motherfuckers that he goes. You, you know, you know what? I'm he's right. You. I'm a fire at the end of the show, and there's some people you feel bad for. But he ends the, at the end of the day, he's the boss. Sometimes the boss goes, "This is interesting. I'm gonna have to look into how fucked up my company is." And then in the show, it's not like. The white boss. No, it's not the white boss. It's, now let's let's hear uh, Nick's side. It's I, just, I, I got exactly. You know, <laughs> I can't. It's too fucking involved. <laughs> you got to know who runs Hollywood, okay? They hate the corporate fucking world. It's ultra liberal people, and the boss is all. And they hates the corporate and, world. No, they Nick. don't. No, they do. You love the corporate. I world? don't hate the corporate world. I drove here today in a car, fucking car made by a corporation. The tires are made by a big corporation. I like corporations. What kind of fucking double horse shit? See, you're that? buying it. They're brainwashing the you. Out of here. I I gotta drive a fucking car. Do I like what they do at GM so my shitty car can work? That's a no. corporation. But you don't like 
the corporation. They go after the power structure. The people that run Hollywood go after the power structure, which is white corporate guys. It's just another way of going. Hollywood is can, a can power I, structure. I, I know, but it's not the same. Their politics are different, Patricia. Don't really, see that? Really, they go after the corporate. When, Jesus when Christ, you yes. It, when you see a movie and somebody has a Coca-Cola Whoops. and they go... Oh boy, am I fucking thirsty! <laughs> Are you thirsty, Al Pacino? Like it's just, it's fucking that part of it's it. All corporate. Ah uh, boy, all I'm gonna it. have to fuck. All right, all of forget it. it. <laughs> You'll never understand. Nobody will you fucking listen comprehend. to the plight of the white man. No one. It's Nobody. not the plight of the white man. It's, it's, a, just... it's corporate. It's a boss who owns his own shitty company who's working for it, and no one knows his The him. point is that the, the guy in power is the bad guy, and the fucking... He is. And the guy. No, he's not, you fucking idiot. Who's he gave, the bad guy? He gave those idiots a job, didn't he? His, <laughs> anybody ever get a job from his, a poor person? His minimum anybody? wage. Here's what, here's what happens in that fucking thing. Yeah, we'll let you run the company, Patrice. The, the wait, point. the boss... The boss goes, the boss goes, oh, man. I spilled coffee I, on my jeans. I, God I, damn it. <laughs> now, 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 fucking but, corporate but, but, hot coffee. Right. Right. Let, me get, yeah. let me get this straight because I've never seen the show. What Starbucks they do is, just burned my lap. The so, boss of a company, it, it <clears throat> plays the part of an employee. Yeah, just to show he doesn't know what he's doing. Different levels. Right. Of his and we're company. supposed to laugh because the guy that knows does he come the, off looking no, like he runs a company that doesn't even know he doesn't how to know what he's doing. Him. That's the no, message. No. He doesn't. He doesn't need to. He look at slave owners didn't need uh, to know how to pick cotton. Uh, he's for, he's a guy who started a company with his brain, mm -hmm. like the kid from Facebook. They don't point he that out the though, do they? Inner bullshit out of company. He just had an idea uh -huh. and he made money. But I'm saying this guy really? needs to know how to make chicken. What Patrice? he does. Wait a minute. What okay. he does. It's like he goes to fucking, the, the, they had one, the White Castle guy. Okay. And it was just, he would see the the <clears throat> uh, the efficiency of his company. So he was playing the part of what, a registered guy yes. or a cook or something? And, and, and he would have a lady, right, that goes, that get there like five minutes early. And she'd be talking to him and it's like, I got to get in five minutes early because this other guy gets here ten minutes early. I don't want to lose my fucking job. It's a, it's a. Of course you have to manipulate it so it has human parts, mm -hmm. but it's never the boss is just going woogity woo. It's him does trying look, to do his job bumbling. that he doesn't need does to do. Does he ever look of bumbling? No, and and not, every, no. not every guy that owns a business, the head of it, uh, had an idea. A lot of them started at the bottom and worked their way up like Dave Thomas and, and became the boss for a reason. 20-hour mm -hmm. work where, days. Where did Dave Thomas work his way up from? When what are you talking about? He, <coughs> he he started behind the counter at fast food places. Don't people wonder why this new you know? employee is being driven up in a limo and a fucking camera crew is following <laughs> Yeah, exactly. The new guy is somebody. <laughs> I think the desire to make fun of the boss is pretty... Uh, yes, it's just a power it, thing. No, I, no, I think, think that's something... Wrong, Patrick. I agree. I wouldn't say... I think everybody has that desire just to let... Like, most but I just don't see too many black bosses being made a fun <laughs> on that show. Exactly. <laughs> it's right. a fun show to watch because, look, ye yesterday, my phone was fucked up all day. And I'm calling AT&T, and I'm telling something's going on corporate-wise. The woman gets on the phone and goes, hello, my name is Jennifer. This is blah, 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 will you please? And then uh, do you live at that? But I go, miss... I don't want to interfere with whatever your training is, <laughs> but you sound like a fucking automated. She's computer. reading it. <laughs> yeah. But it's but but my my point to even say that is they're teaching something in corporate. You you can't be happy with how corporate thinks. It's it's impossible. But the, you're, you're, there's no she's way. She's got to be a little happy with the fact that she's working. You know? Yeah, maybe, but her job is not safe because if they're teaching, the, the reason she's not fired, I mean, you go shopping all the time or whatever. Like I said, mm. there's only one, there's only one uh, teller now. You go on a Saturday, it's one teller and the rest is this automated thing. Once they can figure out they how don't to want completely to, eliminate right. the human element, well, yeah, you're fired. Of course, they're, they're well on their way to doing that yeah. as far as mm. banks go. They don't, you know, they don't want, eventually yeah, yeah. there won't be banks. It'll all <clears> be done and then, you know, they can At rip home. you off easier that way. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, this is, but that's what I'm saying. Though. So when you see something that adds a little human touch, and I'm always, I'm always giving these motherfuckers speeches. I'm like, why are you behaving like this? You cost your company money. I make it money. So, mm -hmm. so ultimately, you're useless if you're gonna just like some of the arguments are just based on what the computer says. So once they can figure out how to. The computer to answer well, they, any fucking thing. They you use do. that as an excuse now. It's always when you're right when they call and they can't answer something. Yeah. It's like, well, we don't have that in our computer. They always blame the fucking technology. <laughs> yeah. People are making themselves useless. But, but, the, 
but they have to make money corporations. The bottom line is the bottom line in a corporation. That's why yeah, that's, when you get an argument, there's no logic involved. You're right. But it's all it's that's why Subway sandwiches, they, they weigh their fucking meat. But why? Because they figured out the profit margin. Right. I that's understand. what I'm saying. Right. Pro- that's that, the that's problem. That's always going to be there with that's a business. The if you make $70 billion as, as a corporation, I hear you, you. you can't make 40 like you, like oh, you can't. Oh, take it easy, Obama. No, no you, you gotta can't. Make, if you can make seventy, make that's 70. right. You would be because, too. Because you don't know if in two more you years you're going to be making ten. You can make a couple hundred grand, Patrice. You can make one hundred and forty this it year. Is. You don't know in two years you could be making ten or five billion. That's right. In a shithole, some other technology comes up. You're a piece of shit, and now you're supposed to be like, well, at least I gave some money away. And no, not give no. it away, you but can... you just we're we're halfway decent. Not a not a nick not nickels, but, but they would like, they would look at that. Corp- I agree with you, but they would look at that like it's not indecent to be computerized like that. They would look at it as it's efficient and better servicing the customer. Even though I, I agree with you, I, I hate them. No, but that's uh, how they would look at I, it. That's like right. you know, we're trying to service the customer, so we, we read through this thing. Everybody gets the same service. Mm-hmm. They would look at it as we also have, as opposed to twenty years ago, five million customers. Where twenty years ago. We didn't yeah, have yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, It was a lot easier. There's to an immediate, there's an amazing demand for customer service too. <laughs> it'd, be a, it'd be nice to have some humanity. There are some instances I love not dealing with people when when shit works. Where like a credit card company, <laughs> where it's like, oh, we we have a problem. Yeah. You know, was there a charge done here? And you call up, you never have to talk to somebody. Right. You punch in numbers. Uh, your last uh, uh, thing was this at such and such a place. This you push yes. Okay, thank you. Good. I didn't talk to one fucking idiot. And a computer sounds so funny when it's asking about a website. And it goes, she mail strokers. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're like, LOL to yourself. That you was know, my purchase. Nick, Nick, when I say fucking corporate too, I don't mean, I, I don't mean like oh the cor- I mean the the things that they represent. I mean the the thing like you know like the oil company represents, which is not. To say I'm sorry, I'm fu- we apologize for destroying some of the per- planet. It's a bunch of he did it, he did it. Uh, b- we have to fire all these guys. It's just sorry, man. Made a bad mistake. Could you imagine? Made a bad mistake, man. Yeah. A I human, a I human. Think but that's, but that's BP, not enough to say ads sorry. on TV where they were saying we're cleaning up, we're doing everything we can. What, you know, with the, the black lady that was like, yeah, yeah. That well, they well, always have to put an ant in mind to make everybody um, feel better. Yeah. I, I live down here. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, and, we, and then the oil, and then have oh, some Popeyes chicken too. I was having some gumbo one night when all the <laughs> fuck out of here. With what? That I shit. live down here and I work for BP and we yeah, ain't yeah. going nowhere. Yeah, white people going. We know that you're not going anywhere. Very obvious. Uh, the commercials these days are really getting uh, to the point of um, being Dude, unrealistic. It, it, it's frightening. Uh, I, I, I've been, just, I've been preaching it, it since what? My first CD uh, yeah, yes. 15 years ago. Yes, yes. There's one about Kodak called, Camera. Called what? <laughs> oh, what? what? I'll Go be ahead. the same angry white boy 15 years later. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Sorry, I'm ahead of the curve. I was ahead of the curve. It was uh, white presidents till fucking now, Nick. Who was you fucking pissed off about? What are you talking about, white? What are we now, talking about here you know, now? I'm just Obama, talking. You call me Obama for some reason. Obama, well, you're upset why. that somebody Socialism. can make $70 zillion. Obama has become a, like a marketing thing where now every company is like, well, since we have a black president, let's get black people in every commercial. Why not? Uh, why not? Because it's not representative. It's only going to last four years. But it's not representative no, no. of it's, a lot it's of what's in going on. They no. showed a, bl- a white man <laughs> taking an order from a black man on a commercial. <laughs> Here's... <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Any, I, I've talked about it before. Any alarm that's company they, that's commercial. They fucking hear. It's oh, the I bad that white guy. Yeah. The bad white guy that's yeah. coming in the house. Yes. And it's the black guy at the Redu- substation. Redundancy. Can we send some help? <laughs> and it's, not, it's not only any white actor. They found the white. Apparently, Ed Begley Jr. is not getting his checks from St. Elsewhere. <laughs> so now he's resorted to cat burgling. <laughs> You know what? How are you supposed to sell vipers if Ed Bigley Jr. is not fucking ripping off your car? And, and, and the thing about that commercial is you could make it race neutral. You could put a ski mask on the fucking criminal. Hey, nobody would, nobody know. would know. Yeah, you'd yeah. know, though. You complain about that. <laughs> Give me your motherfucking money, dude. would know. Oh, it's him. I, <laughs> and, the, and the eyes given away. I like the dumb guy. And the grape soda in the hand. <laughs> Sorry. I like the dumb guy at the, at the party. And they all leave, and he's he's like the cute guy, and he knocks on the back door, yeah. and, and she starts to come boyfriend. to the door, yeah. and he breaks the, the back window. It's like, she would have opened the fucking door for this guy. Right. She was all hot for him There's and shit. There's a lot of white criminals. 
But that, they work that, for BP. Well, that's the the f- advantage of the. That's it's this phony self-flagellation yeah. because it's fucking. It's it, it, it is people who are in charge poking yeah. fun at themselves because it's like if you poke fun at black people, these elitist white people are going, well, you can't because they really are the underclass. So yeah, let's poke I, fun at ourselves. But have you yeah, it's exactly. a phony self-flagellation. No, Nick, I know Nick has seen this one and probably been as infuriated as me. The three jungle dumbest, fever. <laughs> oh, sorry. The three <laughs> dumbest the Norton, white people <laughs> ever. <laughs> The, the, the three dumbest white people. <laughs> oh, Anthony Jimmy. <laughs> yes. Yay. Was he angry at the end of Roots? <laughs> no. <laughs> the room. <laughs> well, f- why would he run though? You got a job to do. All of a sudden, he's running away. There's three three dumb white people toiling over what aspirin to Sandy buy. Sandy Duncan's thirsty. Toiling. Get her a drink. They're sitting there going, "This one, I gotta take. Tw- How many pills? I don't know. I got a headache. I can't do that." And this smartly dressed black woman with a well cropped afro right. comes over, right to where she goes. She goes, "Hmm." I need this. Advil. One pill all day. Yeah, and walks away. Yeah. And all the white people looking at her like, oh, How did she she's do brilliant. That? Of course they don't know. Well, you she was the maid. Wait a minute. You can't have, you can't have fucking dumb white not people that don't know. That's not the point, purpose. Patrice. It's done on purpose. It's done with a purpose. Like, let's make sure the black woman the is pro- the that, smart one. That is my point. The people yes. who As opposed God to what, damn it. though? As opposed to having a black woman, a black woman and a white guy standing there going, I don't know what the fuck to buy. And a Chinese person coming over going, oh, I have no, to go. But, you know what? but I think, let's be honest, this is, the, this is, this is why I'm going to let you guys have it after this. Oh, shit. I don't, I, it's, it's impossible you don't have- to argue race with white people for this reason. Mm-hmm. White people think racism is only niggas, dogs, hoses, lynching. And uh, fucking slavery, racism. Uh, if you can hide that, right? You think that that's following it doesn't you around exist. in the stores. That was but a list of. But let's. But yeah. what I'm saying, Anthony's ten favorite things. So, right, that's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying, Anthony, is this. Yes, sir. You you see the other scenario you set up? How come it couldn't be a white guy, a black woman confused, and then a Chinese guy? Yeah. The part that I would have trouble getting the truth out of most white people yeah. is that they would have problems with the Chinese guy too. That's really? so much bullshit. Yeah. If it's not white, just so like when people say, depending on what the product just like was. People say, why? If there's a BET. If there was a, a white into every other channel is white entertainment. They just call it other letters. Yeah, you make up 14% of the population. If you watch TV and you're from what another... The can I fuck you? No, first of all... Let me finish. You're Italian, Nick. You keep you saying that. You fucking put... So what? It's just you I'm English, too. And fucking Louis C.K. He's Mexican. <laughs> you're an immigrant. He's an immigrant. But you took white. You fucking took a color. Now, if everybody else band together with a what color... What are you talking about? My, gra- my mother's side is from England, so that doesn't she's count? She's English. That's She's fucking not a white. Fucking Why white does my person? Italian override my whiteness? Why you is your English and your fucking <laughs> Italian override? Why does your whiteness override check, your, your fucking nationality? I know I check white on the application. I'm a white European male. I'm called white. You're a fucking Italian. I'm a white European, European. male. European. I'm a white European, European, European male. I don't hear this thing about his English. You yeah. see yeah. except Italian. I don't ever hear Nick going, boy, I love fucking goddamn cabbage. He's fucking, <laughs> he takes I love fucking cabbage. Italian. Cabbage and potatoes. He's yeah. a blue-blood That's Italian Irish. fucking who did he do the Sopranos guy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. And you're another, you're another Italian. But I'm saying you band together to be this color that's oppressive it's, a, it's not it's, oppressive it's an oppressive color i'm pointing White. out things i'm seeing happening it, it, that is disproportionate thank you it is um uh, uh not realistic a lot of times I see things that are and not, it's white not people, indicative of what I see right. in society. It's not realistic they're to your society. They're portraying people of varying races in ways that are, it's not realistic. It's actually, like what? It's gone so like far. a fucking black pill lady? Ha, no, no, like no, 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 no. a home invasion in a, in a fucking alarm commercial. It should be a black guy. Because and you know that, Patrice. You're for, so many, you're for the truth. There's a disproportionate Patrice number said of that's fair. Yes, that's absolutely true. Invasion. I am not afraid Show of white one. guys. Fuck. But white guy busting your door in, it better be fucking. It's probably a because he's he's found something that belongs to you, and he's returning it. <laughs> <laughs> he found money in the driveway, and he's bringing it he, back. Here's your, another one. Kick your door in to bring back this, your lawnmower. This, this <laughs> it's your neighbor. There's one for insurance now. There's a white kid standing on a hill trying to take a picture with a black. And, he's a, and he falls down the hill. Oh, rolls down the hill, what? and the black couple are looking black down, laughing I've at him. You that. think that's an I've act? 
sitting you yes, dumb fuck. I've grew up with that for years. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing but bumbling white boys. <laughs> it's all bumbling. And, and it's the, white people writing it. It's white I liberals know, doing yes, it to other yes, white people. But that's so. how you know. But that's how you know it's not an oppressive thing. It's that's a right. phony self flagellation. That's right. No, I, I never said it was black people no, uh, taking right. over no. television. That, that, they see. Look. Right. They see Obama got elected. They say now we just got to put black people in every commercial. That's just not That's been going on for. Hold in on, the for a long time. There's a yeah, book. Not it's, true. Not that's true. It's in, it's in writing. It's been legislated, not the bell curve. <laughs> Came out, uh, I think, paved with good intentions by Jared Taylor. It's right in there. It's it's written into law. You have to represent black people in commercials. It's mm. a law. Is it a law? I'll yeah. find if the book. They, if it wasn't a law, yes, dear. then we'd have fucking... <laughs> Baloney. You'd have plenty have of black. We'd have Kentucky Fried Chicken commercials <laughs> with no black people in it. But you got, just be every, white people you got every McDonald's commercial now. Oh, my God. Do you God. realize Not you have every, every you McDonald's only commercial see now? A and, black and, and it's a white commercial <laughs> on BET <laughs> no during a BET. Way. Where they I have a chance, never see a white they have a, commercial. They, it's only on black channels where but they have the a music. Welcome to McDonald's, the new McRib. Making a comeback this week. Hey, baby, do you need a hankering? I had a hanger for, for a breakfast biscuit. How about you? I ain't got a problem with that. It's always a jazzy. Instead of it's always a white girl. It's always a Midwestern white girl with a nice peaches and cream complexion working behind the counter at yeah, McDonald's. Right. And yeah, the exactly. black people come. That's not how I've been seeing it. No, right. At the airport, it's some jaded chick with cornrows and queens <laughs> going, get your apple pie yourself, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or your peach pie. <laughs> oh, chip. Hey, hey you know yes, something, Patrice. though? The thing <laughs> about the <laughs> black <laughs> home invasion guy? Yeah. Or the white home invasion guy? Yeah. Right. There are places you know you where... Up. A white guy would home invade, but the way that yeah, the commercial, way, bizarre the, world, wait, <laughs> the, the way that that commercial, you don't believe, where is this beautiful suburban home and this uh -huh. lady, and then there's a white guy tiptoeing around. But there are places where yeah, there no, are I, some poor crackers. I say that, that bust in your fucking house, Patrice. I, I say I that. that. But for every one white guy that does, there's about 400 black and brown people kicking in front. <laughs> that's of. not true. Okay, 360. Uh, that's not true. <laughs> okay, 245. <laughs> but you know what? No, Patrice, this is why I don't agree. With you. <laughs> because uh, you know why it's being done. Even though you're right, there are white that's home the, invasion. Of course, you know. They're doing You're talking it. about the context of the commercial. You, you understand the reasoning behind the it. The reasoning behind yeah, it. Yeah. And you so can't win the argument. Hold on. You can't, what does you can't win the argument in court because it's phony. It's unrealistic. Yeah. It's phony. When the fuck did TV become real? Hey, you gave us that one a few minutes ago. Now you're going back and you're unrealistic. unrealistic the home invasion thing. You gave us that one a few minutes ago. It's, it's unrealistic for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> it's all horseshit. Really. It's unrealistic for a reason. I'm scared this, of a nigga cutting my throat. Yeah, like underlying fear and guilt. It's He's there a, for that reason. You gotta the the people that don't understand the people who write this shit and produce it in Hollywood, movies, TV, sitcoms, commercial, you have to know what their agenda is mm -hmm. and what their politics is. And it's ultra fucking liberal. Yeah. It taints everything they make, okay? Exactly. So that's all you need to know. Doesn't matter you know at the end of the day from? if it's a corporation, it's right. still it's still a liberal agenda being pushed, okay? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if the commercials are corporate McDonald's. They still make money yeah. at the end of the day. But You're a white guy without up. a fucking TV show, man. I don't understand that shit. That's what bugs what me. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm fucking like you. I'm brutally honest. You're a black guy who's not a movie star. That's more fucking incomprehensible. <laughs> In this day and age, what shit, are you only, doing wrong? It's only two. Jesus, my janitor it's in my high school's two. got a sitcom for it's Christ. It's only two. What? Did you see Big Lake? Were you in that? Mom, did you see? Did Big you play lake? the lake? Wait, what is oh, it? Oh, no. Big lake. What is that? <laughs> Why did somebody's finger hit that car crash? I, <laughs> if this iced tea was hot, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What is Big Lake? It, it's a it's a Comedy Central show, and it. Oh it, yeah, they wanted me to write on it, and actually. it just proves racism. Really? Which is bad. It's so bad that no black person could have a show that bad on television. Really? No, none ever. Could never. I'll have to check what's, that. Big, never. what's Big Lake about? You'll be embarrassed. It's about a lake that gets polluted by white corporations. <laughs> As they pump in all their waste. That would, it would be better if it was that. That's a better idea. <laughs> I just, look, before we take a break, I just want to I just want to see some commercials where a white guy helps with pills. actually tells a, 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 a black person what to do. A, a, an idea. Like usual, no, not yeah, what make to do. Yes. Just gives them an idea that the black guy goes, wow, hey, thanks. Exactly. Exactly. Well, the thanks. white guy had a well, good idea. Good but good you know idea. what? Patrice is right, though. It's always 
TV has always been phony. The fucking the, the mom cooking the cake. You know they don't show the fucking husband beating her. Yeah, but that wasn't well, phony because it was a white lady. No, 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 no. But I'm saying it's but, all, but now it's happy just, days was real. Now it's just but, phony no. racially. <laughs> it's always been phony, but now it's just phony racially. But it's always been but slanted it's, culturally but it's the to the reason left. behind it. I don't right. give a fuck. Right. It, as long as people were honest about the reason behind it. I understand why the fucking bumbling white guy's falling off the mountain as the black couple's chuckling yes. in their fucking beautifully dressed suits and everything like that. I understand. Why does beautifully dressed suits... Because have, it's why that, do you have to have that the whole sarcasm? Scene, that whole scene is done it for a reason. It makes you sick because you're white. They no. should be purple oh, with no. little hats. It makes me sick and because me, for it's me, someone's I go, agenda what is this being shoved down my throat. How, How about, about that, that commercial well, for the new fucking uh, 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 <laughs> rock band where that white chick with the braces kisses the black guy and that, then that he's wearing happen? the braces? Huh? That doesn't happen. No, it should be blowing up. Will you just be... Will you just admit it, Anthony? Here's, yeah. here's what my, it would just admit that it bothers you. I don't like interracial on a gut level. Yeah, just admit That's it. That's not what it the pro you. That doesn't even bother me, who, for Christ's sake. I jerk off to it. Who the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Patrice, you're so Take wrong that about that, 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 man. Who the fuck notices this much shit about Patrice, commercials? That, it's shoving it, this fucking liberal, issue. It's liberal a fucking agenda liberal agenda. And it's, and it's worked. And that's how Obama got elected. And it keeps going and going and going. White so, guilt. So now white and, guilt's and over the, just in the, the four coolness. years that he's going to be Obama right. got elected of because of fucking the dumb now, Republicans hear, picked Sarah Palin. Four years. No, you yeah. hear what happens? No, for, Jimmy, no way. Go Obama's going to be gone, okay? So now yeah, it's years. like in four, in two more years. It wasn't just four now, years. Now, it's been a work in progress now for 40 guilt, years. Now white guilt is now... All of a sudden, now it's gone. We Can I just you, say we, something? Oh my God, the white guilt is gone now. I hope after so. Four, you know, Seriously. you know, it's, no, not I white guilt is gone. What do you mean four white years? White honesty it's been 40 years. is going to be is now coming back. Let is me it? explain something. The to honest Patrice. white person. Yes, that's right. The right. real, real white, white people, people are oh, coming. Shit, look out! Ellen Ginsburg, okay, a real left wing Joe! radical. <laughs> 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 He said in the 60s, okay, uh, he said, we'll get your children, meaning we're going to invade the institutions, televisions, fucking uh, uh, college mm -hmm. campuses. And they did for the last 40 years. It's been a liberal fucking agenda. Yeah. And it's brainwashed fucking white people and white kids and generations uh, of them. And the white fucking guilt paid off and when Obama came yeah, along. You understand? Yeah, it, yeah. It's just simple. It's, it's true as that. <laughs> eat ass. <laughs> Come on, but you're saying fooey. Fooey and eat ass. The liberal. Oh, you're right. Would you like to debate that fooey eat ass? Uh, <laughs> the co college, at least, college campuses are run by least, conservatives. You're right, Patrice. Oh, yeah. At least fucking. Hollywood's run by conservatives. At least you're Nick right. Is is honest about his nonsense. Yeah. Because because nonsense. Don't try to people, minimize what I say. I'm going to marginalize it. So <laughs> you said minimize. <laughs> but I'm saying that these white people with this. This this stuff that all of all of a sudden is 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 this new white literature. people widening their eyes. It's nothing but white people getting permission to be what they really want to be. See, he's saying we're racist. racist. You're racist. Black people are most racist so people on the earth. So fucking what? We should be flying planes into your fucking house. <laughs> oh, you already did. That's what the fuck we should you be doing, but we're did. not. We walk around happy as a motherfucker. Happy. With what this country? Look it. What the fuck? Did black people do you? After we come back, you tell me what the fuck we did to get still treated this fucked up. Yesterday I wasn't getting hung. Still yesterday, and motherfucking white people talking about oh, black. Do you just shut the fuck up? With, 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 with white people <laughs> are fucking racist. And you have done more, okay, f to make up for those slavery and all that Thank other. God. In the last twenty years, you've taken more out of this fucking country between court costs, fucking welfare, what? reparations. We paid you. We paid you. A job. We've paid you back fortyfold, motherfucker. We who? Italians? Ta yes. You got here two days ago. I'm a white ago. European male. <laughs> you fucking helped put the lamp on the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the fuck you did for this yeah, country. And you <laughs> fucking nothing. Thanks for spaghetti. Yeah. And you Thanks for spaghetti, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate it. I'm, Eng I'm English, too, by thanks the way. Thanks for olive oil. Yeah, what have you... thanks, thanks for fried Mars bars from England. Thank you. <laughs> and you gave us the Thank club. Thank you very much. <laughs> and you gave us the club. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> That's the thing that goes on your steering yeah, wheel. Dudley Moore would hate that joke. <laughs> thanks, thanks for the ragu and the nice hats. <laughs> well, you can always leave Appreciate if you don't like it here. And boy, I'll and tell you. And you can leave too. I am happy. Here. Too many niggas. Uh, let, the, let the 14% run wild. Wooga booga. <laughs>
with our fucking bones in our nose and eat everybody. Shut the fuck up. There are too many. Sicken me with your too many. There are too many black. There are not. Three hundred million races walking well, around. See, that's it. That, that's what they're doing. They can't win the argument. You got to throw. Oh, your, really? That's oh, all really? you do. You've been Black making really come. wise things. Shut the fuck up. No, you haven't. Look how crazy you are right now. Because it's, it's, you can't I prove it. I hit the nail on the head. <laughs> I hit the nail on the head. Uh, you hit the nigga with a fucking plunger. <laughs> That's what you did. You shot the nigga 41 times. Oh, don't use that, that word. We're going to get in trouble. <laughs> By the That's way, I'm amazing. at Foxwoods tonight, Friday night, Saturday night. Comics, C-O-M-I-X, at foxwoods.com. Or uh, 1-800-200-2882. And uh, Saturday night, come up. up what there. exactly is the, is the uh, is it one table, two table? Yeah, two. You're listening to Anthony. I think once you get a certain age, <laughs> you lose a little potency. I feel it leaving. I feel I don't have this. Really? I, no. I, like, just that made my head light. That fucking... I got a light, like a bright spot came to mind. That's your diabetes. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but I can hear Nick. It, Nick is a kind of gentler. He he still has mm. his Nickness. It's Nick like, has to take a nap after the Nick old could do dogs. This. <laughs> the old dogs. Nick, need a Nick nap. used to be able to fucking do that all day today and tomorrow. <laughs> And it's the same thing with me. I, you just you just go, oh. You need a little positive reinforcement is what you need. Mm. And here's the deal. You know, try, I'd like to get a radio show, terrestrial. I, but yeah, I come on yeah. here. It goes on the Internet. It's in, in, for, in perpetuity exactly, forever. Yeah, so I've yeah. already, you know what I mean? Who's going to, they can go Google me now if I go to get a job at a legitimate and go, oh, he called Patrice a black, blah, 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 and yeah. I'm hung for good. Nick has never effort. used the word, blah, 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 blah. It's <laughs> nigger. I've never said. <laughs> see, now that's I'm not... with you, Nick. Do, right. do you see what happened? Do you see? If this was Roots, <laughs> yeah. Nick is close to changing his name. Wow. To, to fucking Toby. Really? I'm t but I'm not. This is not disrespect. Oh, that's a horrible yeah. thing to say. Wait a minute. It's oh, not, not disrespect. I'm Moa till I die. Yeah. <laughs> this coming from Raw Foods, George. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting ready to say chicken wings, George. Yes. Hey, my chicken fingers, George. Black her. I'm close to going. You know what? Okay. I'm not uh, even going to argue the point. Is, fuck my name is Toby. Because they I beat gotta, you you're right. down. It's that athlete thing. I feel like I got to go in for Jim Crow shoulder surgery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are all done. Yeah, I yeah, couldn't. Yeah. He's right. You yeah, know what? He's right. Exhausting. I couldn't argue another half of it. It is yeah. exhausting. Just, that's how. The, that's what those people do to you. There's some kind of yeah. <laughs> you mean the radio? Yeah. yeah. In my that's city, we would keep it in their neighborhoods. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Anthony.